So in this question, we're asked to show that x plus 1 is a factor of this cubic polynomial and then solve this cubic equation. We're going to do that by dividing x plus 1 into this polynomial. So let's have a little look at a division just with numbers. Suppose we want to divide 2 into 17. Well, it'll go 8 times, 2 8s are 16, remainder 1. And that tells us that 17 is 2 times 8 plus 1. So there's a similar division going on with this linear factor and this cubic polynomial. Instead of writing x plus 1 down, we write negative 1. If it was x minus 1, would write plus 1. If it was x plus 2, would write minus 2. If it was x minus 2, would write positive 2. So that's what we're dividing by. And we're dividing into this polynomial. Now what we do is we look at the coefficients of the x cubed, x squared, x and constant. Watching out in case there's terms that are missing, in which case there'd be a 0 for the coefficient. So the coefficient of x cubed is 2. Coefficient of x squared is negative 9. Coefficient of x is 3. And the constant at the end is 14. So we now do the following procedure. We bring the 2 down. We multiply the 2 by this negative 1. And write the answer down here. Negative 2. Add these two numbers together. That's negative 11. Multiply a negative 11 by negative 1. That's 11. Add these two numbers, that's 14. Multiply this number, this number, that's minus 14. Add these two numbers and we get 0. Now just as up here we are dividing by 2 and that 2 appears here, then in this setup we're dividing by x plus 1 so this polynomial, 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 3x plus 14, we now know is equal to x plus 2, x plus 1. So that's the, the this bit that we write down, just the same as we wrote down the 2 here. And then up here we were producing 8, 2 went into 17 8 times, the quotient was 8 this gives the quotient here and we read this as a polynomial, just as we wrote down the cubic polynomial the 4 coefficients, this is only 3 coefficients, it's gone down from a x cubed to an x squared, there's the coefficient of x squared so it's 2x squared minus 11x plus 14. So that's our quotient. And then the final bit of the procedure is this remainder 1. And here it is here. The remainder in this case is 0. So we'd add 0, which has no effect on what we've got written there. But that is the remainder, it's 0. So in effect, what we've done is factorised that. I mean, let's look at a, a case where, for instance, 2 goes into 18. It goes 9 times and the remainder is 0. So we can write 18 as 2 times 9 plus 0. And basically we've factorised 18 into a 2 times a 9. 2 is a factor of 18. 9 is a factor of 18. x plus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. 2x squared minus 11x plus 14 is also a factor of this polynomial. So we should state that since 
the remainder is zero, that's this here, then x plus one is a factor of the polynomial. That's 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 3x plus 14. So that's part A. Let's move on to part A part 1. Let's move on to A part 2. Hence solve that equation. So we've got 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 3x plus 14 equals 0. And this cubic expression is the one that we've just factorized. So let's replace it by what we've discovered about the polynomial. Now we can go further than this. Let's look at this factorization of 18, 2 times 9. You'll notice that 9 can be factored further as 3 times 3. Probably this quadratic can be factored further. If not, then fair enough, it's not factorizable. But let's try it. So the first, this times this, give us 2x squared. So 2x times x give us 2x squared. Now we're looking at factors of 14. We could have 2, 7, or we could swap these round. Let's try that. And let's look at the outside and the inside terms. If it was a 2 and a 7, the outside terms would be 2x times 7. 14x. The inside terms are 2x. Now remember, we're trying to get a negative 11x. That's not possible with this 14x and 2x. So let's swap these round and try the outside 2, 2x times 2, that's 4x. The inside 2, 7 times x. Well, yes, we can get a, a negative 11x from these two. They'd both have to be negative negative 4x, negative 7x is negative 11x. So we have a negative 7 and a negative 2, giving us a negative 4x and a negative 7x. And just check that the lasts, when you multiply negative 7, negative 2, you do get positive 14. That works out. So always check back, multiply this out, First outside, inside, last to check, you do get 2x squared minus 11x plus 14. So we're finally factorised this uh, left-hand side into three factors. So something times something times something is zero. One of these must be zero. So x plus 1 could be zero, or 2x minus 7 could be zero, or x minus 2 could be zero. If x plus 1 was zero, x would be negative 1. If 2x minus 7 is 0, then 2x would equal 7. Therefore, x is 7 over 2. And if x minus 2 is 0, x equals 2. So hence, solve that equation. Solutions are x equals negative 1, 7 over 2, and 2. Let's now look at part B, and there's our solutions for from the first part. Maybe we should put them in increasing order, negative 1, 2, 3 and a half, 7 over 2. That's them in increasing order. So that's from part A. And in this diagram, we're actually shown the graph of y equals 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 3x plus 14, this polynomial here. So that's the graph, the cubic graph. And the curve cuts the x-axis at a, b, and c. So that shows you when this expression is equal to 0. That's the solutions that we got when we solved this equation in part a. So a has to correspond to the negative 1 root. b has to correspond to the 2, and C will correspond to the 7 over 2. And in part B, 1, it asks us to write down the coordinates of the points A and B. So the coordinates be negative 1, 0, and 2, 0. 
hence calculate the shaded area in the diagram. So the shaded area will be given, since it lies above the x-axis, by integrating from negative 1 to 2, then the formula for this curve, which is 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 3x plus 14. So that will give us the shaded area. So let's proceed with this integration. 2x cubed, remember to integrate, we increase and divide the index. So we'll have 2x to the 4 over 4. Minus 9x squared goes up to x cubed, and we divide by the new index. 3x to the 1 goes up to x to the 2, and we divide by the new index x to the 0, that's 1 just, goes up to 1, and we divide by 1. So 14 integrates to 14x. Remember, if you're not sure of that one, you differentiate back. If you differentiate 14x, you get back to 14. So there's our integration, and it's between the values negative 1 and 2. So let's try and simplify it first before we plug in these. Uh, there is cancelling. 2 into 2 goes 1, 2 into 4 goes 2. So we've got x to the 4 over 2. And there's cancelling. 3 into 3 goes 1, 3 into 9 goes 3. Cancelling in this one. So that's minus 3x cubed. No cancelling in this one. and a 14x. And we have to plug in these two values. So first of all we'll plug in 2 into this and then take away the value of the whole thing when x is negative 1. So first of all 2 goes in. So we've got 2 to the power 4 over 2 minus 3 to the power 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared over 2, plus 14 times 2. From that, we'll subtract negative 1 to the power 4 over 2, minus 3 times negative 1 cubed, plus 3 times negative 1 squared over 2, plus 14 times negative 1. So let's try and do that calculation. One of these four twos that's multiplied here will cancel with that two, and we'll get two cubed, which is eight. Two cubed is eight, three eighths are 24. One of these two twos multiplied cancels with this, and we're left with one of them. Three times two is six. 14 times two, 28. Minus the whole of this expression. So the first term, negative 1 to the power 4 is positive 1 over 2. So we're subtracting a half. Negative 1 cubed will be negative 1. 3 lots of negative 1 is negative 3. If we're taking away negative 3, that's positive 3. But we're taking away the positive 3, so we'll get a minus 3. This third term, negative 1 squared is positive 1, times that 3 is 3, that's 3 over 2, positive 3 over 2, but we're subtracting it, so that's minus 3 over 2. Finally, 14 times negative 1 is negative 14, and we're subtracting that negative 14, so that's positive 14. So, Let's look at all the positive terms. 8 and 6 is 14, plus 28 is 42, plus 14 is 56. And let's now look at the negative terms. In particular, let's look at the negative 1 half minus another 3 halves. That'll be negative 4 halves, which is negative 2. So these two combine to give us negative 2. 
with this negative 3, that's negative 5. With this negative 24, that's negative 29. So that'll be 27. So the shaded area is 27 units squared.